Now I'm going to show you the new MIDI features of Cubase 8.5, and I'm going to start with my favorite, which is the quick MIDI note creation. And to show this to you, I've started with a blank project. All I've done is loaded a steel string guitar patch using Halion Sonic SE. So the first thing I'll need to do is create a blank event to enter the note data. So I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key and then click and drag across that track to create one empty event. Then double click on it to reveal the key editor. Now, in previous versions of Cubase, you were able to enter MIDI data very quickly, but they've added so many cool new features to this process. So let's talk about the old way first. What I've done is I've turned on Snap, and I've set the quantize value to 16th note, which I'm actually going to change to 8th note, and the lengths of those notes will be linked to the quantize value. So when I draw in new MIDI events, they'll be 8th notes. So if I wanted to add some notes to this event, I could write or control click on the mouse and choose my draw tool and then single click to create an event. So if I wanted to start making a C major scale, you'll notice that every single note that I create is making eighth notes, but now there's an even faster way to do this. So I'm going to undo those note creations and I'm going to go back to my object selection tool. And now if I wanted to add an event, I no longer need to use the draw tool. I can just use the object selection tool and double click and it will make that event based on the quantize parameters and the placement in the event display. Now here's the next new thing you can do. I'm going to create the D of our scale right here, and I'm going to double click, but this time instead of releasing the mouse button on the second click, I'm going to continue to hold it down. So double click and hold the mouse button down. It creates the second note, but now while I'm holding the mouse button down, if I drag to the right on the screen, then I'm able to adjust the length of the note in eighth note increments. And while I'm still holding the mouse button down, I'm going to hold down Control or Command, and you'll notice now that temporarily turns off the snap, so it's not automatically incrementing them by eighth note lengths. So I'm just going to drag back here to make an eighth note. Now when I make the next note, I'm going to show you how you can change the velocity of the note upon its creation. Normally the velocities are set to the default value of 100, so if you look in the velocity lane down here, you'll notice that the previous two events that I made are all at velocity 100. But now I'm going to make the third note by double clicking, but I'm going to continue to hold the mouse button down after the double click. So I've made that note, but I'm still holding the mouse button down. It's still an eighth note length, but now instead of clicking to the left and right to change the length of the note, I'm going to drag my mouse up and down to change the velocity of the note once I create it. So if I wanted a velocity value of 120, then I'll just draw up until I see that number 120 on the screen, then lift off the mouse button, and you'll see that that note has a velocity of 120, which is louder than the other notes. Let's use another new feature. This time I'm going to double click to create the event, but I'm going to hold the mouse button again, and this time I'm going to hold down the shift key, and you'll notice that now I can drag its position before I actually create it. So if you realize that the note isn't in quite the right place, hold down the shift key and you can move it to the right place in time. And then if you make a new note but realize that it's the wrong pitch, then you can change the pitch during the note creation as well. For example, if we accidentally entered an F sharp and we're still holding the mouse button down, then you can hold down Alt and Option along with the Shift key and it will allow you to change the pitch up and down to get you to that G instead. Now the quick MIDI note creation works not only here in the key editor, but also in the drum editor and the in place editor. So if I close the key editor right now and go back to our project and open the in place editor, then I can use those same methods here. So I'm going to type H a couple of times to zoom in. And if I wanted to continue to build my scale here in the in place editor, I could double click to create new notes, double click and hold down the mouse to create longer notes. Double click to make a new note but still hold down, then drag my mouse up and down to change the velocity of that note. So that's quick MIDI note creation, and next let's talk about changes to the drum editor.